Hello duckies and welcome back to Queen's Wish. My name is Viola and we're picking off up right where we left off in uh, Deepwood Keep. Um, I may not be able to control it at my best today. I'm probably going to be using a bit more of the mouse movements um, because I just got a tattoo in memory of Rose, and um, it's kind of located oddly on my arm. Um, if I remember correctly, we really, we kind of just going around and explored this, so we really hadn't talked to anybody. Let's change that, shall we? You meet the Chief of Deep Wooten Keep and you are surprised. After meeting one professional disciplined warrior of Haven after another, this unshaven mess is a bit of a shock. He is slumped over, his eyes are bloodshot, and he is well into middle age. He wobbles to his feet and meets her gaze. Welcome, Viola. Glad you're here. I am Chief Adam, ready to report. Interesting. He's a mess, but his desk is covered with work, and he's no fool. He is here to work. I wait for your report. He picks up a paper from his desk. It's all here. The camp is built, ready to do trade and get supplies. The Ario seem content to ignore us. Not even sure if they remember we're here. And that's... Hmm. He picks up a pen and adds some notes to his paper. Go on. Oh. Ooh. We were all dropped off by boat on the west coast. The general wanted us to not walk through the Ariel woods until we're sure we won't be torn apart by curious plants. We're all waiting for you to get a treaty with them first, Viola, that's all. He slumps back into his chair. You're still flinching. You've always been pretty informal, but being referred to by your name is weirdly shocking. You're very informal. What? Oh yes, we're in the middle of a magic forest that wants to eat us. We're on the front, Viola. Back home, I would kneel and all that. Out here, we have to fight side by side. No room for pomp out here. Just try to run the fort well. She got some nods. I will. I'm untidy, I admit it. I have a rep reputation. I'm surprised I'm here at all. But I will make this fort work, I swear it. What else can I do for you, Viola? Um, so how did you get to be out here? It was kind of a surprise. I was a chief before, but retired. Difficult past, you see. Then I was visited by guards. Turned out I was personally selected by Princess Diluga. Tell me about your difficult past. He looks around at his office, the messy floor, the cask of ale, the mug. You look at his face and his pale, stubbly face. He only shrugs, but you can guess a lot of the story. So, my sister selected you. All, of, all the leaders of the East Battalion were personally and carefully selected by the princess. She wanted to make sure you had the best, even if the best can be kind of messy. What were you doing when my sister found you? I had a job as a baker. About to lose it was a pity. Pounding the dough helped me get these. He slaps his upper arms. They are indeed impressively muscular. My sister is very precise in what she does. Yes, and that is why I was so surprised. She told me though she knows I am good at my work. He waves at the maps and orders on his on your desk. Don't let the mess fool you. I will do right by you. She also said that you also had a checkered past. If you don't mind me saying. She thought that you had an unproductive youth and you would be comfortable with me here. The 
third child. My family never got around to giving me chance. That hurts. Not being trusted. Not being given responsibility. The person needs responsibility to grow. And now you have an entire continent to battle. He laughs. Maybe there's such a thing as too much responsibility. Question. Um, what do you think of the RL? They're an odd one. I've served in a lot of vassal states, but they are unusual. Most aren't quite so mad, so arrogant. I like them. They are wealthy and safe. They've been that way for a long time, long enough that they can't see the problem. Why do you like them? They love pleasure. The blessed live for it. The regular folk are bitter and have pro their problems, but they love good food and wine and beauty. They think they have problems, but they are better off than anyone else in Sacramento, and they live life to the fullest. How do they treat Haven? They are arrogant and dismissive, way more than it is wise to be. We'll withstand it, though. You won't cause we won't cause an incident and make problems for you. What's their problem, then? Their forests have protected them for too long. They have forgotten that the world has real risk. Real wars always come eventually. If you don't prepare for them, he shakes his head. Too much prosperity can be poison. My life is a testament to that. Do you think that could ha ever happen to Haven? Yes, maybe, probably. Haven believes strongly in work and duty. This never lasts. At least when things fall apart, apart I'll be long dead. Another question. Do you need any help getting this word established? We can always use more supplies, I think. If you check in with the East Battalion headquarters, they will have suggestions for where you can go. The town of Sylvan might offer you some nice bribes, too. The thing I would su suggest is probably too humble for the time of a princess. Well, let me be the judge of how I spend my time. Hmm. Well, you wouldn't be the first royalty who enjoys hunting. Not pigeons or foxes, but the enemies of our colonies. For example, the roads through the woods to the east are plagued by camps of mirelings. If you took time to drive off a few of those camps, it would make it easier for us to get supplies. Why do the Ariel tolerate these camps? The leader of the Ariel are uninterested in leadership. Too much wealth and wine, too much elixir. Their councils tend to see the nuts and bolts business of leadership is beneath them. How can I recognize the camps? Look for clearings full of bones and trash. Trash scattered around is sure sign of enemy of an enemy of order. He look around at his office. He shrugs. I've never been a great friend of order myself. <laughs> That's all for now. Alrighty. Hmm. I like this one. Yeah. A bit unkept unkempt, but uh Let's see. The rulers of Haven. Haven's ruler is Queen Sharon III. She is, has ruled for 30 years, bringing rewards to allies and punishments to foes with equal competence. However, she's beginning to age, and more attention has been paid to her three children. The, her oldest child is Sutter, first in line for the throne. Happily, he seems well suited to be king. Mm, that's for some people to decide. Cheerful, well-liked, bright, and energetic, he's fully ready to ascend to the throne and expand Haven's power and influence. A.K.A. He is greedy. His younger sister is Princess Delia. She has been raised since birth to be a scholar and advisor. If you know more than her of the Haven, of the history of Haven, its triumphs and mistakes. She's a kind woman and a true patriot, eager to aid Haven 
and all of the and all of its allies. Queen Sharon has a third child who prepare who prefers to remain in seclusion. That's me. <laughs> Little is known about this young royal who appears to be in line for no position of importance. Wow. Thanks for the vote of confidence book. <sighs> Because I believe the sage is upstairs. Yeah. Um, soldier. These are just general and soldiers. Oh, wait. She's. Not there. That's a bedroom. like sage sage the blessed in the trench towns the ariel are split into two classes those who can afford to drink elixir do so and they are the blessed the blessed choose the leaders of the ariel woods those who aren't blessed live in the hum humble farms and the trench towns one can always tell an elixir drinker greenish skin white hair a distant gaze and occasionally more than a hint of madness those who quaff Quicksilver, Brew, lead the Ariel. Through this leader, though this leadership can be erratic, there's Ariel and outsiders who aren't blessed live in the humble farms and the trench towns. They keep the food growing and the paths clean. There are many outsiders in the Ariel woods. The blessed and the regular Ariel, with their standard arrogance, look down on these visitors. Okay, Maybe it's they're not oh, okay, so let's get the gist of this. A lot of this is general uh, haven full movement. Yes, yes, yes. Guarantee that haven receives full priority in trade of po uh, potions which provides an advantage in battle. Ariel will also will provide envoys of Haven whose brains are untouched by the effects of elixir. No trade in elixir will take place outside the Ariel Woods. I mean, I, I fully agree with that. Uh, elixir's messing up everybody around here. I picked up all the I don't have anything to place down it looks like. Oh, I can change their names? Mm. Rather than not. Okay, yes, I I gathered up all the buildings, I, I put them all together so that we're ready to add things when we can. But first things first, we need a incoming source of quicksilver, which we really haven't had, and what's been costing us for quite some time now. The whole reason I decided to come up here. Um, Center Woods, Motherly Advice, Rainbow Star, Mines of Ariel. So that's kind of where we need to aim. I wonder if that's where the dragon decided to go. Or maybe that's- oh wait, no, that's the refuge area in this one. Okay. Um, let's look at what we have quest for. What was the motherly advice? Quartermaster in East Battalion. Gain valuable supplies, large cache of precious cinnabar. Oh, okay, so that's, yes, yes, that we need. Um, oh, there are several large farmhouses ringing Depot Keep, waiting for settlers to come and rebuild them. When Haven fled, the houses were carefully sealed. They survived the decades of your absence surprisingly well. Over this way. 
There is some slimes. Oh, there's boxes. No, 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 no. Why are you going that way? Simple pump and old haven cache. Really, all of these crates have been rotted out here over the years. Rust and trash. Flash of quicksilver! Yes! One is better than nothing. Okay. Uh, we're gonna run into those guys. Yep. Ooh, giant ones. Mm. I think we'll pull. Let's see what do I have? spreading on. And I... Not sure if that'll hit the back one, but yes, yes. Okay. Okay. No more slimes? No more slimes. Okay. I mean, at least we found some spar. Or some quicksilver. Sorry about that. Um. Hmm. Why do I have a feeling this is a trap? As you walk through the field, the smell of the flowers starts to overwhelm you. You feel dizzy. You want to walk north. Yes, go north. That's where you, you... No, you shake your head. Your training enables you to shake off such clumsy, obvious magic. Yet, the purpose of these enchanted flowers, to get you to go north, is clear. Interesting. This is probably a trap, but... I'll go with it. As you walk through this field, the smell of the flowers starts to overwhelm you. You feel like your senses have been enhanced. The sights, the smells, are all so intense. And then your newly sharpened hearing detects something. Words whispered in the wind. North. Come north. We have so much for you. You shake your head. This magic is affecting your mind. That can't be good news. You stumble out of the grove. Your head returns to north. Hmm. Of beautiful flowers, the smell makes you faint. You feel a powerful compulsion compulsion to leave and follow the path northwest. This time you're ready for it. You bend your nose and look around. It's a good thing you are alert. You are able to spot the creature who is stalking you. 